morning guys happy monday it is currently 4 53 a.m i actually just pulled into the parking lot of boot camp i get asked a lot do we work out outside yes year round we work out outside it is 34 degrees so it's gonna be a little bit of a cold workout. So I usually bundle up thicker leggings, a sweatshirt, a workout top. I've got a few layers on, I've got gloves. So I'm usually fine once we get moving and my body warms up, I'm usually sweaty by the end of my workout. But yes, we are outside year round. Monday, Wednesday, Friday are total body days. So those are the days that I come so that I can focus on lifting heavier weights and really focus on muscle building and strength training in the gym the rest of the week. So it actually works out really good for me, gets in my cardio for the day. And one thing I love about it, even though it's early and I have to get up at 4 a.m., is that my workout is done by 6 a.m. and I have the whole day to do other things. And that just gets my workout out of the way because I know myself I'm not going to work out at night because I go to bed early to get up early so this just actually is perfect for me the workouts are different every time so if you can find a boot camp in your area or some type of group training or group exercise I recommend it it's a great way for community it's a great way to build community and meet friends and of course have accountability to get your workout in so I am going to grab my weights grab my mat. Everybody should be here in the next couple of minutes. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it. I'll finish that when I get home and get ready for the day. I have some good recipes for you guys today. We're going to make those halo top cookies that I shared in my grocery haul. We're going to see if they're any good because that could be a huge sweet treat cookie game changer. I'm going to be cleaning out my closet. I need to do another donation run because I have quite a few clothes that are too big. We just have a really exciting day today. So I'll see you guys at breakfast. It is time for breakfast. I am so incredibly hungry. I actually just finished getting ready for the day and I saw this recipe on Instagram on a reel and I screenshotted it because I thought because I was really excited to try this. This is an air fryer oatmeal pancake, oatmeal cookie for breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. You're going to need a small banana, about a third of a cup of banana. Mine's frozen because I keep these in the freezer for smoothies, so I'm going to defrost this a little bit in the microwave. Cinnamon is optional. I love cinnamon, so I'm adding cinnamon. You're going to need about a tablespoon of milk, a tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce or oil, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go with unsweetened applesauce, rolled oats, baking powder, and then chips of your choice. I have the Lily's salted caramel chips. You could do chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, whatever you would like. So I have the recipe pulled up here on my phone. It's actually from hey underscore R-N-E-U in the at symbol. I'll put her information here on the screen for you where I got this recipe if you wanna follow her over on Instagram. But Basically, we're gonna mix everything together, flatten it out in a cookie shape, and throw it in the air fryer. So I have my banana. I'm going to add half of a cup of rolled oats, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a tablespoon each of unsweetened applesauce and milk. And then I'm going to add cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I'm going to put about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to throw in 20 of the Lily salted caramel chips. We're going to mix that together, kind of smashing up the banana. That's going to be a big portion of the liquid to form this into the cookie. So I sprayed the bottom of my air fryer with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to put in my oatmeal mixture and then I'm just going to pat it down into a pancake or cookie shape in the bottom of my air fryer. Now you can make this in the oven as well. So here is what it looks like. You're putting it into your warmed up air fryer or your oven at 350 degrees for about six minutes. If you're cooking this in the oven, you're going to wanna to cook it for about 10 to 11 minutes. While my breakfast cookie is in the air fryer, I'm going to mix up my Motivate Amino. This is my post-workout recovery. I absolutely love this. I have the flavor pineapple mango. This is so great after a workout. Even if it's not an intense workout, it's still important to supplement with some BCAAs and some supplements to really help with soreness, 
fatigue, muscle fatigue. It also helps your muscles grow, lean muscle, or whether you're trying to build muscle or not. It's important to supplement after any type of workout. Always take my Motivate BCAA, my Motivate Amino after every workout. I like to mix it up with my little handheld frother. I bought this on Amazon. I will link it down below for you. You know how much I love the Motivate supplement. Speaking of Motivate, I do have a brand new flavor of the burn that we're going to try a little bit later this morning. And then I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the non-stim version of the burn because I've been getting a lot of questions on that. But this I highly recommend post-workout. It is sugar-free. It is zero points on WW. It tastes amazing and it's really going to help with your recovery after a workout. All right. There it is. Doesn't that look so incredibly delicious? I am going to just pop it out with my spatula, put it here on my little love plate. And she recommended just a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup. She said it can be on the dry side. Mine feels really moist, like it was a little bit hard to get out of the air fryer. But I am going to put about a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. This looks so good. I can't wait to try it. All right, let's see if TikTok did us dirty or if this is as good as it claims. It's delicious. Oh my goodness, it's actually really, really good. The air fryer put a little bit of that crisp on the oats. You would also get that through an oven as well. The banana adds a nice sweetness. The, ch the chips add a little bit more sweetness. The cinnamon gives it a tiny bit of a savory flavor, so I definitely would recommend the cinnamon. This is 100% more of a sweet breakfast than a savory breakfast. But it's really, really good. You could add so many different things to this. You could throw nuts in here, chia seed, flax seeds. You could make it savory by adding in maybe some green onions or onion or vegetables. There's a lot of things that you can do just kind of with the oatmeal base. 10 out of 10. It's really good. Why are you under my desk? Palmer. Oh, Palmer. Would you like to go? Oh, hi. Yes, hi. Oh, yeah, you're really cute. You are the cutest little fudgy bulldog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're pretty cute too, Squirt. I'm going to make a morning snack and I'm going to do some cottage cheese. My breakfast was a little bit more carb heavy post-workout, which is fantastic to kind of replenish those carbs. Had the rest of my protein coffee, so I got in some protein as well. So my snack is going to be a little bit more protein heavy. So I'm going to do three quarters of a cup of good culture. I have another container here because this one is almost gone. And then we'll do 50 grams of blueberries. That's going to give us a healthy carb and some fiber. So I'm going to use my Uba Home Bowl. I've been sharing a lot with you guys about Uba Home. I love them when we sit down to eat our morning snack. I'll share with you some of my favorite products from the brand. But what I love about this bowl is it has your measurements all the way from a quarter of a cup up to one and a half cups. So you don't even have to measure it out. You can just use the pre-measured portion controlled bowl. So I want three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese. So I'm just going to add that into my bowl up to the three quarter cup mark. It makes it so easy, especially if you're somewhere where you don't have a food scale like at work or out and about, you can take these pre-portioned bowls and measure it out directly into the bowl. So there is three quarters cup of cottage cheese and 50 grams of blueberries. So while I have my morning snack, I wanna share with you guys a little bit more about Uba Home. I've been sharing it a lot in my what I eat in a day because I use their products all the time. A lot of you have picked them up and you're loving them. So like I mentioned, this is the pre-portioned bowl. I own three or four of these because when they get dirty, I kind of panic because it's really easy to measure out things like cottage cheese, fruit, vegetables. I mean, anything that you would need to measure up to about a cup and a half, these bowls come in really, really handy. Another product that I love from them are their pre-portioned containers. These actually have lids and again, all of your measurements inside. There's a red, a yellow, and a green. So you could use the red for protein, the yellow for fruit, the green for vegetables, or really however you want to use the products. But this actually goes up to one and a half cups as well and then has the lid. So it's a great way to pre-portion out your meals and snacks and take them with you. Again, if you work outside the home, if you're traveling, they just come in really, really handy. And I really like that they are color coded. They're a really nice ceramic, high quality material. They are dishwasher safe and really just big, big game changers for portion control. Troy and I are actually going to an all day Jeep 
club event this Saturday and I am going to be taking both of these with me along with my silverware, we'll talk about that next, so that I can have healthy meals and snacks when we're out and about because we're probably gonna be out in the middle of nowhere and I want to make sure that I have the foods that I need to eat to follow my plan with me. So that leads me into the silverware. I'm actually going to use the spoon today to eat my cottage cheese, but you can see that these are small silverware. So it really helps with how much you're eating per bite. This is something I struggle with. I'm a fast eater. I just always shovel food in my face. I would be done with my meal before Troy even finished half of his. And these have really helped me slow down my eating. They come in this nice silicone sleeve so you can take them with you. Again, this will absolutely be coming with me on my little Jeep adventure with Troy on Saturday. I'll do my best to get some footage and share it with you guys. It'll be the first one that I've went to and the second little group event that Troy's went to. Similar to my boot camp, it's been really good for him to go to these Jeep events with other people who have Jeeps. That way he's meeting people in the community and then having fun driving around and off-roading his Jeep as well. And then the other item from Uba Home that you guys see constantly is my pre-portioned plate. I actually just ordered another one, so I have four now and I love these. They have three designated sections for your food. I talk a lot about protein, protein, protein. Actually in my how to make it through the holidays video, I talked about how I set up my plate, eating my protein first, vegetables, carbs. I'll link that video in case you missed it. Some really good valuable information. And these plates lend to that perfectly. What I like to do is put my protein in this big section here because that's really what I focus on. Vegetables and carbohydrates. If you don't like your food touching, this is another great tool for you. But I really like this because it helps me focus on eating my protein first, then my vegetables, then my carbs, and portioning out my meals. I just really, really love Uba Home. It's really been a game changer for me in slowing down my eating with the silverware, being able to easily measure out food. You don't even have to have a food scale. We measure at home, take it with you to the office. It's just such a fantastic company. Their products are so high quality and so affordable. So I will make sure that I link Uba Home down below for you with a discount. Highly, highly recommend at least picking up a few of the pieces. They really are game changers for weight loss. Alrighty, it is time for lunch. I made this the other day and it was so stinking good. I've been craving it ever since. So we're gonna make it for lunch today. And that's using the Lavash flat bread. I love this because there's a ton of protein in it. There's omega-3s, which are a great source of healthy fat. I just do one half of the Lavash flatbread. It is 100 calories for the whole one, so it's only 50 calories. And I'll show you the size of it when we put it together. And then I'm going to do a slice of pepper jack cheese. This is one of my favorite cheeses. I just use full fat, regular cheese. And then one serving of the turkey out of this little pack from Hillshire Farm. I have one teaspoon of Kerrygold butter, which is by my stove, and I make kind of a grilled wrap. And then I'm going to have some berries. I have blackberries and raspberries. This is a fun hack. If you store your berries in a mason jar, they last forever. One of the best ways to store berries. And then I cut up a bunch of veggies to prep for the week. I have celery, carrots, radishes, cucumber, so I'm going to have some fresh veggies. So half of a piece of the Joseph's Lavash bread. I mean, this is really, really good size. So I just take half of that and then I'm going to put one serving of the oven roasted turkey breast. And I like to layer that on about half of the piece of the Lavash bread. And then my slice of pepper jack cheese. and then just fold over the bread. And then here's kind of what you have. And then I lightly butter both sides before putting it into the pan. Just that tiny bit of real butter adds so much flavor and it gets it nice and crispy. And here's my lunch. One of the most beautiful, colorful plates. Such a healthy lunch. I'm telling you, try this little melted cheese crispy wrap thing. It is so, so good, I crave it. I absolutely crave it, and Troy's been really loving it too. And then I have some blueberry, blackberries and raspberries, cucumbers, radishes, 
carrots all on my Uba home plate. It is seriously so nice to have all my food in its own designated spot. I always focus on my protein first, then veggies, then carbs, and the Uba home plate just really helps me portion out my food correctly, which is essential for weight loss. So this is going to be my lunch for today, and I couldn't be more excited. Are you being crazy? Get him, Lola. Get Palmer. Get him. Yeah, get him. He's taunting you with his baby. So I have a coaching call in about 30 minutes and I'm gonna mix up my Motivate Burn. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about burn. So you know that I use the Motivate Burn with stimulants. So basically that means that this burn has about 300 milligrams of caffeine per serving. That's what helps with focus, energy burn, fat burn, helps keep you full between meals, but it does have caffeine. And I know that a lot of you are sensitive to caffeine and have reached out and asked me if Motivate has a caffeine-free option. And they do. That is the no stim burn. Now this one only comes in one flavor, my Amy lemonade, but it is so good and it's all the burn benefits without the caffeine. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, I would highly recommend the no stim. If you like that little bit of a caffeine boost, the regular burn is great. There are several flavors of the regular burn. This one is new to me. This is cotton candy. I'm so excited to try this. I actually just filled up my cup with water. We're gonna pop in a scoop of this and it's gonna give me that little bit of a pick me up for the call and for the closet clean out because as soon as my call's over, we're moving into my closet to clean it out. So I'm gonna mix myself up the regular Motivate Burn, but don't forget that they do have the no stim that doesn't have caffeine in it. The flavor of this one is really good. It's a true lemonade flavor, I really like it. And like I said, you're going to get the same benefits with the no stim as you do with the stim. All the energy, the focus, the fat burn. So I am very excited to try out the cotton candy. I have heard really, really good things about it. So I'm gonna put a scoop in my water, grab my little handheld frother, mix that up, and we'll test it out. I will link Motivate down below for you guys with 20% off. Such a good deal. You know how much I love their products. They're my all-time favorite. Another thing you guys ask me about, side note, is when do I take the burn? Generally, midday as a pick-me-up. Now, if I have two coffees in a day, which is pretty common, I'll use the no stim just because I don't need that much caffeine. Or if I want something before bed, I'll pick the no stim. But generally, I use this as that little bit of mid-morning, afternoon pick-me-up. So both of these, excellent options. Let me grab my handheld frother and let's mix up cotton candy. It's literally the perfect cotton candy color. Look at that, cotton candy pink. All right, let me mix her up really good. I saw my ice in there from my amino, my Motivate Amino earlier today. So let's give it a first impression. Taste test, cotton candy burn. That's good. It's kind of sweet, kind of vanilla-y, kind of fruity -y. I don't know if I get cotton candy. I don't know. I mean, cotton candy just has like a sugary sweet taste and that's really what this tastes like. So yeah, I guess it is true cotton candy. I really like it and this is definitely going to power me through my afternoon. Okay, we're in my closet. We're gonna start this closet clean out. I'm gonna flip you around, kind of show you how things are laid out in my closet. We're gonna go through everything, make a big pile. There is a women's shelter in Green Valley, which is just about seven minutes from my house. I always bring my clothing donations there. So whatever I get rid of will be going to the women's shelter. We're gonna try things on. I know that there are several sweatshirts that I've had before I lost any weight and I've been hanging on to them. Sometimes I wear them to boot camp, but I have so many clothes that it's not necessary to have sweatshirts that are 10 sizes too big. So let's get into this closet clean out. I have my Motivate Burn to keep me going. So this shelf here are all of my workout tank tops and all of my skirts. All my workout pants are on this bottom shelf. The very bottom shelf is pants, jeans, and then for clothes, I have all of my regular like shirts and things here. Really, you two? Really? All my shoes, and then over here are all my sweatshirts, jackets, and then of course all of Troy's clothes. I'm going to go ahead and start on the shelves. I know that there's a few things that I can get rid of. of a few things. I got rid of some shorts, 
some workout tanks, a couple of skirts. The lighting in here is horrible. We have teeny, teeny little windows. So let me go through like this part of my closet and that part of my closet, and then I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. We are going to try on some sweatshirts and you'll see exactly why we need to do this closet clean out. Okay, so here's one sweatshirt. I mean, this is like a 3XL and I am a medium now. This is actually a beauty influencer that I watch. I ordered her merch. You can see it's like a dress on me. I mean, it's absolutely huge. So this one's gotta go. So here's this really old Victoria's Secret sweatshirt. I have had this for about 10 years. I think it is... Yeah, it's a size extra large. It is way too big for me. It's time that it goes. Like I said, I've literally had it forever. Also, my Leavenworth sweatshirt. I have so many before and after pictures in this. I will pop some up here on the screen for you guys. There's a gray one in the dryer that I'm going to get rid of too. But I have a massive, massive pile of donation. All right, two massive full garbage bags going to the local women's shelter. I feel really good about this. I was able to really kind of whittle down my clothes a little bit. I actually have room now for new clothes that come in. I did end up putting all of my shorts in one of these little cubbies because I had some shoes that I got rid of and I really just kind of whittled it down to the things that I wear all the time. And if I haven't worn it during the winter season in Arizona, which is short, I'm probably not going to wear it. So I am feeling so much better and much more organized. Afternoon snack time. So I'm going to show you one of the little hacks that I like to do to get a little bit of extra protein. I do need a little extra protein in my afternoon snack because my breakfast was so carb heavy. So I'm going to do one of the Oikos triple zero yogurts. This has 15 grams of protein. And then I like to mix in a tablespoon of the PB2. So that's going to give me another three grams of protein. So that'll make this 18 grams instead of 15 grams. And then I'm gonna have two of these snack mates for kids. These are the little pizza meat sticks. These are really good by the way. So I'm gonna have two of those as well and that'll give me some more protein. So again, I just mix one tablespoon into my yogurt. And this one's really good because it tastes kind of like peanut butter and jelly. And again, you're just getting in that little extra bit of protein. For dinner tonight, I'm making pasta. We are doing creamy beef and elbows. I'm really excited for this. It's kind of a beef stroganoff meets hamburger helper kind of vibe. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some whole milk, beef broth, Pasta of your choice, as always, I'm using Fiber Gourmet. This is our go-to pasta. However, I am trying a new one. Stay tuned for it in the future, in a future video, but I love Fiber Gourmet. 110 calories, half the calories, half the points of regular pasta, 24 grams of fiber, seven grams of protein. Really delicious, tastes just like regular pasta, just much better for you. I buy mine off of Nutrition. They sell all the different shapes that Fiber Gourmet makes at the lowest price. So I will link Nutrition down below for you. Salt and pepper, and as always, I'll link my Gravity Fed Salt and Pepper Grinders. They're off of Amazon. Tomato sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, light shredded cheese, and 96% extra lean ground beef. So into my Caraway cookware skillet. I can't rave about Caraway enough. I will, of course, link it down below for you. This is their big skillet. I love their cookware. I am adding my pepper of 96% extra lean ground beef. We're going to break that up and allow it to start browning. Once your ground beef starts browning, we're going to add salt, pepper, garlic salt, and onion salt. I think I said garlic and onion salt, and I meant garlic and onion powder, not salt. Then we're going to add in two cups of beef broth, a can of tomato sauce, our box of fiber gourmet pasta. Give that a quick stir. We just want to make sure that all of our pasta is under the liquid. If you find that you need additional liquid to cook your pasta all the way through, you can always add in a little bit more beef broth. We are going to put the lid on and allow this to come to a boil and cook the pasta. 
So I decided to add a veggie to the pasta. So it is cooking along. We still have a ways to go. But I did grab out a bag of frozen peas out of my freezer. And I'm going to throw them in there. I thought we might as well add in a veggie. I was hoping that I had a non-starchy frozen vegetable like green beans, but I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and throw in that bag of frozen peas. That way it has a chance to soften and warm the peas through while it cooks the rest of the pasta. I'm going to add in half of a cup of whole milk. That's what's going to make this nice and creamy. And then we're going to add in one cup of light shredded cheese. We need two cups total. One cup will be mixed into the pasta and the other cup will go on top. Just allow that cheese to melt and the milk that we added to get warmed through. Then we're going to add that last cup right on top, turn off the heat. Look at how good this looks. It looks absolutely incredible. This is a huge skillet of pasta. It does make eight servings, so I'm going to go ahead and dish up a serving and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. And here is my dinner. This looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. I'm pretty hungry. So again, all the information will be here on the screen for you. We're going to make cookies. I am so excited about this. If you watched my grocery haul, you know that I found this at Kroger. They actually had Halo Top brownies and Halo Top cookie mix. This is peanut butter chocolate chip. It is 60 calories for the mix alone. And then if you make it the way that it suggests, which is three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of margarine, each cookie is 80 calories, which is not bad at all. I'm going to use real butter. You can use light butter and that may knock it down a little bit, but we're going to make some cookies and that's going to be dessert tonight. And we're going to test these out. We're going to see if it's worth it. And if these are really good, I will buy the brownie mix and we'll test that out and hopefully Halo Top will bring out more sweet treats. All right, so we're adding the pack of cookie mix to a bowl. Ooh, look at all the chocolate chips. I am so excited to try this out, you guys. Then we're adding three tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of melted cooled butter. Do allow it to cool for a couple of minutes. Stir that all together. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Oh my gosh, this smells so peanut buttery. I'm so excited. So the package says it makes 16 cookies. So I'm gonna use a fairly small cookie scoop and scoop out 16 cookies. So I have 15 cookies because my lovely husband ate some of the dough and he said it is amazing. He could not tell that this was a halo top or lower calorie, lower sugar option. So I am even more excited now. We're going to pop these into the oven. All right, you guys, Halo Top peanut butter chocolate chip cookies are out of the oven. These look incredible. I mean, these are good sized cookies and they're only three points the way that I made them. Like I said, you could use light butter. Maybe that would lower the points a little bit, but 80 calories and three points for a full size cookie. You cannot complain. I'm going to let these cool and then we are going to taste test them. I couldn't be more excited for this. Oh my goodness, you guys. Shut the front door. This is incredible. This literally tastes like a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie. I am not getting Halo Top. I'm not getting low sugar. Oh my God. It is so good. It is so peanut buttery, so chocolatey. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely incredible. Wow. Serious mind blown. I can't wait to get the brownie mix and another bag of these cookies. Thank you for 
joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. We made cookies, we cleaned out the closet. I shared with you my favorite supplements from Motivate, Uba Home. Everything is linked down below for you, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. We would definitely love to have you over there. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and check out my recipe website for tonight's dinner recipe. It was absolutely delicious. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday and I'll see you in the next one.